Hello everyone and welcome to the third session of exponents and powers. In the previous session we already have learned what is exponents and why we require exponents and what is base and power of exponents. Now, and we have even learned some few properties of exponents. Continuing the properties of exponents, we will learn some few properties more. So, let me take one example here. Two raised to three cross three raised to three gives me to simplify this I can write here just applying the associative property that gives me six cross six cross six or I can say it is 2 cross 3 raised to 3 that means 2 raised to 3 cross 3 raised to 3 is 2 cross 3 raised to 3 let's take one more example and try to understand this property this gives me 3 cross 3 cross a cross a or in other words this is 3 cross a 3 cross a just applying the associative property for multiplication or you can say it is 3 cross a raised to square if I try and journal generalize this I can say that a raised to m cross b raised to m is equal to a b raised to m. So this is the third property. The property says multiplying the numbers with different base and the same power or exponents gives us the multiplication of the base raised to the same exponent so if i have a raised to m cross b raised to m where a and b are different bases and m is the same exponent which is getting multiplied with both the numbers then i can directly multiply a and b and then have the power raised to whatever is the exponent here in this case it is m so i hope this property is clear to you let me move forward to the next property the next property is I have a number 2 raised to 4 and then a number 3 raised to 4. If I want to expand this, I can expand this number as 2. Okay. The further I can simplify this number as 2. It's just a different representation. I am just taking grouping the numerator and denominator. This is again a multiplication only I am doing. It's a multiplication. So I can say it is 2 raised 2 by 3 raised to 4. So if I have 2 raised to 4 divide by 3 raised to 4 I can represent it by 2 by 3 raised to 4 you can take one more example to make you understand this property
so here I'm just expanding it and I can group them here as 4a by 3 4a by 3 4a by 3 and then you can see it is 4a by 3 raised to 4 so to generalize the property the property is if I have a raised to m and b raised to m then it is a by b raised to m or raised to power of m this is the general form of the form of the property so in other words this property is actually dividing the numbers with different base and the same power or exponent it says that if I have a raised to m divided by b raised to m then I can say that it is a by b or a divided by b raised to m I hope this property as well as the previous property is clear to you the previous property is when we have different base but same exponent in multiplication it gives a raised to m cross b raised to m give us a cross b raised to m and the division property is if a raised to m by b raised to m is equal to a by b raised to m so this is clear i think clear to you next in the next session we will meet again with some few properties thank you